Hi everyone, my name is Lei Zhao from the University of Pittsburgh. I'm very glad to have the opportunity to present our paper, Bee Flip Flipping Bees to Share Crossbars in RUM based DNA Accelerator. In recent years, DNAs keep growing fast, exceeding the on chip storage capacity of DNA accelerators. Accordingly, the computation overhead also increases significantly. This problem is especially severe for accelerators that use in memory computing. For example, RUM based accelerators perform the matrix vector multiplication in crossbar structures. Conventional pruning technologies are not directly applicable due to their randomly distributed zero weights. Previous works also show a huge accuracy gap between aggressive quantization under six bits and the uh, full precision model. In this work, we tackle these problems by grouping together similar bit matrices into clusters, which will share the same crossbars to save both space and the computation. This is the out outline of this uh, presentation. Let's first start with some backgrounds on RUM devices. An RUM cell is a sandwiched structure. A set or reset operation will construct or destruct the oxygen vacancy filaments in the middle layer uh, to change the resistance of the cell. The high resistance state represents a 1. The low resistance state represents a 0. RUM cells are usually organized as a crossbar structure to conduct a matrix vector multiplication. The matrix values are programmed into RUM cell resistance, and the input values are converted into voltages applied on the word lines. And the current flowing out from the bit lines represents the multiplication results. Next, let's take a look at the workflow of B-flip. Given a predefined, uh, pre-trained model, we first decompose each weight matrix into bit matrices. Then we uh, group similar bit matrices together into clusters. Uh, the bit matrices in the same cluster will flip their bits to reduce its resist uh, to reduce its distance to the centroid matrix of that cluster. A modified DN model will be obtained by combining these flipped uh, bit matrices. Then we calibrate calibrate this new model with the training data. If the training accuracy is less than the predefined threshold, we will regroup all the bit matrices into more clusters and perform the flipping and the reconstructing steps again. If the training accuracy reaches the predefined thresholds, we proceed to the mapping stage to deploy the weights onto the accelerator for inference. Next, I will dive into each step with more details. A weight matrix is decomposed into bit matrices according to the bit significance. For example, if, a va if each value is composed of four bits, the weight matrix will be decomposed into four bit matrices. Each one contains all the bits with the same bit significance. The clustering step divides all the bit matrices into clusters using k-means. For each cluster, a centroid matrix will be calculated by averaging all the clustered bit matrices. Within each cluster, every bit matrix will be flipped to, ma uh, to match the centroid matrix. Let's take matrix A as an example. We first do a bitwise XOR operation on matrix A and the centroid matrix. We can get a matrix indicating their mismatched bits. We calculate the number of mismatched bits separately for each row and column. We call them row scores and the column scores. We also define a column flipping vector and a row flipping vector as metadata to represent the flipping status of each row and column. At the beginning, since there are no flips performed, both these vectors uh, contain zeros. Then we look uh, uh, for the column whose score is greater than the dimension of the matrix divided by 2, which is 3 in this example. Here we can find the first column. Then we flip this column and change the corresponding bits in the uh, column uh, flip vector to 1. All scores will be recalculated. And then we look at all the rows to find the row whose uh, score is greater than 3. Here we find the fourth row. We flip and recalculate this row and the scores again. Uh, we repeatedly perform the row and the column until all the scores are less or equal to 3. One thing to note here is that even though uh, when all the row scores and the column scores are not greater than 3, there is still a chance to further reduce the scores. For example, in this case, if we flip the second column and the second row at the same time, we can further reduce the number of scores from 20 to 16. After we perform the same process on all other bit matrices in the cluster, we can discuss all the 
uh, original bit matrices and only keep the centroid matrix and the um, metadata. In the reconstructing step, uh, we flip the centroid bit matrix according to the metadata to reconstruct all the bit matrices. Since the bits can only be flipped into uh, in the granularity of rows or columns, there will be mismatched bits between the reconstructed matrix and the original matrix indicated by the red cells here. Uh, these mismatched bits will change the distribution of each layer's output, resulting in a large accuracy degradation. We calibrate the neural network by re-executing the forward propagation path to update the batch normalization layer's parameter, so that the output distribution of each, la each layer is still normalized. When deploying the model onto crossbars, we only need to store the centroid matrix and all the metadata. In addition to the uh, column flipping vectors and the row flipping vectors, we also store the inverse of row flipping vectors. By changing the number of bit matrices that share the same crossbar, which is M here, we can change the model save ratio. For example, in the 128 by 128 crossbar, storing two bit matrices on the same crossbar is equivalent to four bit uh, quantization. During inference, the first step is to read the row flipping vectors out into the input driver. Then the column flipping vector is read out to the output logic. During computation, the inputs will be inverted according to the row flipping vectors, and the matrix vector multiplication results will be adjusted according to the column flipping vector to get the results of i times a. For bit matrices that share the same crossbar, only one matrix vector uh, multiplication is needed, since the results of i times c can be reused. Our accelerator communicates with the CPU through PCIe bus. The internal organization of B-Flip accelerator is similar to a previous design ISAC. Our modification is in the Wordline driver and the reconstruct unit. We tested eight network structures with four datasets. For MNIST, we used the NET5. We construct the custom networks for SVHN and CIFAR10. The ImageNet dataset is tested on five state-of-the-art CN models. We use a cycle accurate uh, simulator to evaluate the performance and uh, energy consumption. We use PyTorch to evaluate the BFLIP's accuracy. BFLIP is compared with uh, uh, ISAC and uh, SRE for performance and, and energy evaluation. We tested all the benchmarks with uh, different quantization bit width and uh, BFLIP with a different number of uh, bit matrices share the same crossbar. From the figure, we can see that uh, conventional quantization suffers from uh, accuracy degradation when the bit width is less than 6 for most of the benchmarks. While BFLIP can still retain a very high accuracy, even the crossbar is shared by 9-bit uh, matrices. The storage save ratio is equivalent uh, to a binary neural network in this case. BFLIP achieves 1.58 times and 2.45 times speed up when the crossbar is shared by 2 and 9-bit matrices respectively. This performance gain comes from the reuse of crossbar outputs. In addition, only a small region of the crossbar needs to be activated at the same time. This also leads to a faster computation. Since SRE depends on the model sparsity, so it performs worse for dense models. BFLIP saves 75% uh, and 85% energy when the crossbar is shared by 2 and 9 bit matrices respectively. SRE's energy saving also depends on model sparsity. At the conclusion, our work tackles the increasing storage and the computation overheads on uh, RERAM-based DNA accelerators. We propose to share the same crossbar among similar bit matrices and reuse the matrix vector multiplication results within clusters. BFLIP effectively uh, saves storage with negligible accuracy loss. It also achieves 2.45 times performance improvements and 85% uh, energy saving. Uh, thank you.